So given your perspective, Carl, as one of the reporters who broke the Watergate scandal 45 years ago, is it surreal to you what's going on now in the White House? Uh, it's surreal that the country is at this juncture, and it's a tragedy for the country that we're at this juncture. It's very clear that the President of the United States is presiding over a massive cover-up. Uh, it's unclear uh, exactly what he's cover, covering up, but one of the differences between Watergate and this is that people in the Nixon White House largely believed up until the end uh, that the President was not, in fact, covering up a great conspiracy, whereas many, many people in the Trump White House and many who have left the Trump White House, it is now apparent to them that the president is presiding over a cover-up and a massive attempt to keep the truth from coming out well, Carl, about whatever has transpired. Well, let me ask you that. You say that, but the, uh, I haven't really seen anyone say that publicly. And, and, and people are going to say, what is your evidence? Because the president keeps saying, uh, his aides keep saying, his spokespeople keep saying, no, there's no collusion. No evidence has been found. It's time for this investigation to end. Some people say that. Some people have left. And in fact, the whole notion that, that we know there is no collusion is absurd. There are many suggestions in what we've seen in court, in Mueller's filings, in the indictments, that there might well be collusion. And we have only seen this tiny bit of what Mueller has. Thank you.